Owning a business that does client work can be hard to manage. There can be a ton of leads coming in our way and the way that we manage them is going to tell how successful our business is because if we forget to follow up with any of them, we may lose the deal. So the way we manage our leads is crucial. So I realized that I was having this problem some months ago. So I decided to take some time off and really dive deep into this problem. So after a couple of days, I came up with a system that has been helping me during this past month to don't forget to follow up with any client and to actually serve better to the current clients that I was having. So in this video, I want to show you what I came up with. But if you have been following me for quite a little bit of time, you know that before I was living in Bali, but right now I just recently moved to Ukraine where I'm gonna be spending a couple of months before going back to my home country. So that's why you see me in a new place. The way I build this system is very similar to the way that I approach all my other systems by drawing on paper. But before doing that, I always like to run the system manually with some leads so I can see what is actually needed in the system. And it's only when I have a more or less clear idea when I start to automate and standardize my systems. Okay, resume the video. I found that drawing first on paper any system is a very good way to have a first approach in visualizing how the system is going to look like. With paper, as we cannot delete and move things around, it may take two or three times to really draft a system that makes sense. Okay, so in my specific case, I have three different services, which are the ones that I'm going to be standardizing and systemizing because my leads are going to go towards any of them. The first one is my Notion Systems Coaching, in which I develop with the clients their systems and automations over time, making sure that the systems actually fit the client. The second one is one of Notion Consultations for more particular doubts and small systems that my clients will want to create. And the third one will be full custom setups, in which I will help the client build the systems for them. So therefore, I'm going to create these three lanes in my workflow, one for each service, because the steps will be different for each of them. And once I have this on paper is when I'm going to start implementing this in Notion and Zapier. First, what I'm gonna do is to set up the databases that I'm gonna be using in Notion. In my case, I have three. The first one is for storing people, I will store their, their data and the last time that I have contacted with them. I explained how my CRM works in the video that you will find in the top of this video. The second database is going to be for the actual clients, the ones that become paid customers. And this is the database that is going to become the hub of each project of each of the customers. And for sure, one customer can have multiple projects. And the third one is the money movements database, where I'm going to be storing every time that I receive a payment. So then I can put that data together and see my monthly income and expenses. Okay, so now that I have my Notion ready for receiving the data, I'm gonna create the first step of this funnel, which is going to be setting up my calendar apps. In my case, I'm gonna be using Calendly and x.ai. These softwares basically help prospects to book calls with me, and the only thing that I have to do is to tell these softwares when I'm available. And the software is going to show those times to the client and the client will choose the time that is best for them. There is some people that say that this is a little bit impersonal, but I find that this really saves a ton of time. The next step is gonna be having ways to receive money. So I'm gonna set up which is going to be the payment processing for each of the services. I have decided to make them different because then when I'm going to automate them, it's gonna be easier for me to tell which payment corresponds to which service. So in my case, I'm gonna be using Stripe, x.ai, because this scheduling software also allows me to accept payments and pay requests. You will be able to find links to all of these services in the description of this video. Okay, and now that all the ways of getting paid are also set up, it's time to automate everything using Zapier. But of course, feel free to use other automation services such as automate.io or Integromat. By the way, if you haven't done any automation in Notion, I will link in the description of this video one live workshop that I gave to Notion Singapore where I go through the first steps of setting the integrations in Notion. Okay, so let me show you my automations. The first service is the coaching service. So this service is going to start with a free call and this is the trigger for this automation. Whenever the invitee creates the calendar event, I'm gonna tag them in my ConvertKit, but this is optional of course. I'm gonna create one new entry in this client's database where I'm going to put all the data from the customer, such as their email and some questions that they have already answered when they scheduled the call with me. And then I'm going to create one task, which is going to remind me to prepare the call in advance. So later, once we have had the call, and if the client accepts to go ahead with the offer, I'm going to send them a Stripe payment link and a new automation is going to start once they submit the payment, which is this one over here. Whenever there is a new charge in Stripe, 
I'm gonna create that new entry in my money movements database where I'm gonna pull the quantity that the customer has paid. I'm gonna use this filter because normally my coaching packages are always greater than 500 euros. So if they're greater than 500 euros, I'm going to keep going. I'm gonna find first the client within my client's database because remember when we are building automations in Sapier and we want to update one entry, first we have to find that entry and then update it. So in this step, I'm gonna find it. And in the next step, I'm going to update the quantity that the client has paid. And after this, we will just start working together and that's it. The next service is my consultation service, which is the easiest one. In this case, I'm using the app x.ai and whenever a new meeting is scheduled with this app, I'm going to filter whether it's a consultation or not. And I'm doing this using the URL of the calendar that the client has used. If it's from a consultation, I'm going to create a new entry in that client's database and I'm also going to input the amount that they have already paid. This is just some formatting to then create the task that is going to remind me to prepare the consultation in advance. Now this extra step is to differentiate whether the customer has paid right now for the consultation or if it's one student from the Notion Academy that has purchased the package with one consultation. If that is the case, he will not have to pay at this time, so he will be filtered out. But if this is a client that is not a student from the Notion Academy, then he will have paid, and I'm gonna create a new entry in my Money Movements database. And then to finish, for my custom Notion setup, everything is going to always start with an intro call. I'm going to, again, filter the calendar link by the custom setups, so I'm just gonna continue if this is a custom setup call. I'm gonna create the new row in this client's database with all the information that he has provided me during the questionnaire that he did before booking the call. And I'm going to also create a task to prepare the call in advance. And then I'm going to quote the client, send them the proposal, and this is going to be the SAP or the automation that is going to be triggered whenever he has settled the payment. As you can see, now I'm using pay request. This is the reason why I'm using different payment services because just people that pay me for custom setups are going to pay me from pay request. So like this, I can already know that all of this is just going to be related to custom setups. So this automation is simply to add in my client's database that the client has already paid and how much he has paid. And I'm going to add this payment in my finance manager, in my money movements database. Okay, so so far this is just the people that actually book a call with me and wanna work with me. But what about those people that just show interest and maybe it's not the right time for them right now? So what I do is I come here to my CRM and I have this toggle to add a new prospect. So what I'm gonna do is just to add the name of the prospect, when have I contacted them, then when is the next time that I want to meet with them, let's say every two months, the way that I contact them, let's say LinkedIn, and by checking here, I check that I want to maintain the relationship with that guy so that I want to actually follow up with him. So then he is going to come up here and this system is going to tell me when is the next time that I have to meet with him. And if I go back to the page that I use daily, which is my focus page, I can scroll down here and here I can see all the people that I need to reach out to. And here with a formula, I can see how I have to reach out to that person. So I never forget. Well, before having this system, I always forgot to follow up. And in fact, I never did. But if you're running a similar business as mine, you know that the gold is in the follow up actually. Well, and if you like this video and you think that this was helpful, I have made another video where I show all my business automations that I did with Sapier and Notion that I'm sure that will give you a ton of ideas. So that is it for this video, guys. And as always, hasta la próxima.